Hi bros, in today's episode, Kuku in Kugo with seriously damaged motor. Check this one out. Someone will say, maybe it's the brakes. Let's check. As you can hear, definitely it's not the brakes. I'm pretty sure that something inside the brake, like maybe the magnet, and this motor is gone. But of course, let's open it. It wasn't very easy, there was a couple of things on the way, but inside the motor we've got lots of rust. There is some heavy water damage. Just check this bearing. It looks kind of bad and it was really hard to press it out because as you can see there was also rust on this outer aluminium shell. So yes, first issue, there was some water inside. There is some tiny rumble noise, but yeah, this one was not the issue, for sure. But check this one out. Some parts of the stator are gone, so this is heavy damage. That looks kind of insane, isn't it? I guess somehow one piece of the fin of the metal stator, this plate, pop out and just scratch it around other ones. The worst part is that this motor has to be replaced because if some other fin will pop out in near future, then this motor can just stop working, just stuck. And that's why it has to be replaced. Also, we've got this damage around the hull sensor. So this is really bad. This is this worst case scenario where the motor have to be replaced. But this damage is much more serious. We've got deep scratches on the magnets. Magnets tend to break if they've got any physical damage, especially like in this case. They are quite fragile. And if this one part of the magnet will pop out, actually I can feel it under the finger. Oh, we've got some more over here. Maybe I can zoom it. Maybe this is this missing piece this thing over here. Yep, this is metal peel. This tiny metal shred did so much trouble. So if this small part of the magnet pop out, then it will be one big, big grinding machine and other magnets will just break and this motor can stop. So for sure, this one has to be replaced. And as you can see, we've got on the other bearing also some heavy rust. I have no idea why cooking motors have that kind of issue. Literally 5 or 6 out of 10 got that kind of issue. Sometimes I even replacing the bearings on nearly brand new schools which got like not more than 100 kilometers. And they've got that kind of rust on the bearings. It's like, I don't know, cooking is making these motors under the water. Hard to say. But yeah, you can see even over here that there was some water which just evaporate and we've got this. This is crazy that brand new motor costs $130 with the tube and tire. So this is decent that there is so many spare parts for cooking and they are even on AliExpress so we can easily buy them. Of course brand new motor is working super silent as it should be. If you will ever hear any kind of rattling or grinding noise then your motor has to be checked ASAP. Don't wait, longer you wait, more pricey it will be. So bros, if you have any questions, leave it in the comment section, I will back to you and try to help. See you in the next one.